I, I actually just finished watching TV for two hours without recording because of all the noise, and I got a minute of quiet, and the second I start recording, they start making noise again. Go figure. But I told you guys, you get the good, the bad, and the ugly, so sometimes you'll get to hear them grinding coffee beans. Oh, that was the Roomba? Oh, oh the cat turned the Roomba on. That's talent. Hey guys, RC here back with episode two, Football Manager 21, and we are at the Grafstadt, uh, something like that. We'll figure it out. We're working on it, the pronunciation thing. It's difficult. Uh, transfer news, not much happening so far. We have sold two players. Sandy Brasseur goes out for 90000 and I think he had a chance to be a contributing player in uh, the central mid defensive mid position but uh, he pitched a fit and wanted to leave so he is off and the entire team is pissed at me for letting him go and uh, then we got a bid for Roll Van Bokel from AFC going up to 175000 and now that he's gone he's valued at 300000 because that was a significant increase over his value I think we were at 90,000 so we're going to get more than you know about double his value to us but look at what his value is going to going to AFC jeez uh being up in the Arita VC so that's all we've got going on currently we do not have any offers out I'm still waiting on some scouting stuff to come in so we're going to work it out but let's get to the matches today. Uh, well, I guess uh, real quick, we'll take a look at the competition and season preview. We are picked mid-table, 11th. We were 13th, so we've gone up a little bit, uh, but still mid-table. And I think that's all we're expected to do. Yes, mid-table. So we've got that right. And we are going to be playing uh, RKC. I need to figure out what these names mean. The what, Some of the stuff I was reading is some of the initials are like abbreviations for like a saying or, you know, like, like you know, we are the team of, of Concord or, you know, something, something weird, you know, that the, the initials actually mean something about it, PEC, you know. But uh, anyway, RKC, in, and uh, we're in League 2. And then we'll play Den Bosch as well. I, I actually just finished watching TV for two hours without recording because of all the noise. And I got a minute of quiet. And the second I start recording, they start making noise again. Go figure. But I told you guys, you get the good, the bad, and the ugly. So sometimes you'll get to hear them grinding coffee beans. Oh, that was the Roomba? Oh, oh, the cat turned the Roomba on. That's talent. <laughs> All right, let's get into the team selection. We are going to pick with a quick pick here. All right, so we're going to go with uh, Varai in goal. That's our younger guy. And I'll do a pop-up here for the first game just as we get to start to get to know these players. Uh, he, so he's only 16 years old. So he is going to be our – I think he's going to be our number one. On the left today, we're going to have Anas Bounou. We've had somebody come in for him, and I told him no. 25-year-old Moroccan and very good physicals, average passing, and he can actually cross the ball decently at this level. On the right side, we're going to have Jeffrey DeHaan, 32-year-old veteran. And uh, we will probably not play him a lot, but he still has his physicals. He can actually mark and pass. Not who I would prefer there, but I really don't have anybody else. Even Steinman is 32, and he's probably worse. So... Right back is a position I could use some help out. Uh, Nijman, Frank Nijman, we're going to have him at center back. Again, uh, 
we find that we do lack a little bit of heading. And I want to turn him off a ball playing defender. We're going to make him a no nonsense center back on defend. And Soreen Cook, he can pass a little bit, but neither one's. But I think he can be just a plain central defender on defend. We'll do that. Uh, in the defensive deep-lying role, deep-lying deep playmaker, we're going to have uh, Seppi Wreckers. Uh, we got a bid on him, and I told him I needed more, so he wants to leave, but haven't gotten a bid on him yet. Lacks the pace, but he's a decent passer. He can tackle, and, you know, hopefully he can do the job. Uh, Fadi Selick on the right side, and he can be a striker, 29 years old, really pacey. Decent crossing, but he can dribble first touch. Uh, we want him shooting much, much less uh, if we can. On the left side, we're going with John Toll today, 20 years old. Again, good physicals. He can actually cross the ball. Decent enough finishing for his level. And in the shadow striker, number 10 role, Yari Stamen. And we are looking for him to not shoot very much but be a distributor more than anything else. Up top, we are going to go with, I don't even know how to pronounce that, McCowie? I'm going to say McCowie, Lars McCowie, and he is a pretty solid player. First touch is real good, dribbling, pace, acceleration, like it. He can actually pass the ball. And Aziz Muhammad, one of our veteran leaders, Lacks a little bit of pace, still has a good burst of acceleration, but stellar finishing, composure, off the ball movement. I think he's going to do some business for us. So, and looks like we do get to put a crap ton of players on the bench. We are missing one, and I'm guessing that's just because we don't have enough players at this point. So, let's go ahead and submit the team, get to our match. And here we go. Oh, we do need to reset this, I don't think. All right, we want key highlights. We want one notch up and full speed up. Actually, we'll dial that back one. Match speed between highlights. Yeah, you know what? Let's slow that down a little bit because that's text only highlights. This is between highlights. So let's do that. And replay events, goals disallowed, missed penalties, clear cut chances, tight off sides. That's all fine. We'll do that. All right. So we are in the blue and white kits. Uh-oh, are we going to have a red card here in the early going? Nope, just a foul. All right, I've, I've moved this around. So we've got league table, latest scores. Do I want that? We've got our formation, their formation. Yeah, I think that's fine. And we have match stats over here. All right. So nothing in the way of highlights here in the early going. Let's give a shout to Demand More. Oh, that's a back header and very well placed by Michael Van Sass. And they take a 1-0 lead. Not good. Not good. This is all different. And I don't know if it's how I've set my team settings. I'm going to have to look at that between matches. Oh, here we go. Demand more entire team. All right. But we have fallen pretty far down the table. Tevinit with a set piece. Oh, there we go. Faith... Uh, 
Selleck, and he goes across the goal. Fadi Spotty, that's what it was. I couldn't read his name. Fadi Selleck, and again, I'm just pr pronouncing that the way it looks. I'm sure that little squiggly line right there means something. But that's a good run by our right winger. Takes it down into the box, goes across the keeper, and that is a pretty nice goal there. Sends us back up into 18th place. Not where we would like to be. Two minutes of stoppage time. Pretty uneventful first half. Can we steal one? And we can! Frank Nijman, his first goal of the season. Our center back puts a header in off the set piece. And we are up 2-1. And that looks really good. Let me know in the comments, do you guys want everybody's name turned on? Or does that just get too confusing for you? Oh, very good run by the center back, making sure he stayed on time, on side, on time. Yes, he was on time, but he was on sides as well. Uh, let's see. We are gonna go. We are gonna praise the boys. Happy with your performance, and they are not reacting to me at all. We are definitely having some first uh, first season, first game blues here. Let's encourage them. And they did like that. So encouragement might be a good thing. All right, I'm looking at I'm looking at our hearts here. All right, another set piece and somebody's taken down in the box and Aziz Muhammad is going to take that penalty. A brutal takedown. Uh, and he just slots it home back door on the keeper going the wrong way. His first goal of the season, and we're up 3-1. And that is a good thing. Trying to take a look here at what's... They've gone into a very similar tactic as we have. I want... I want to look at making a sub here. So John Toll. We can bring on Peters. Mid center. I really don't have a lot of players for this tactic. <laughs> that's that's a problem. I think I'm gonna bring he's a striker. I'm gonna bring Muhammad off. For Martinez let's do that and you know what let's bring Peters on for tall and I'm gonna have to look at retraining some people or signing another left winger to give us some more depth there let's praise they like that Baru into the box Oh, he volleyed it, and it went off the woodwork, but it comes right back to him. And Martinez gets his first goal for the club on a rebound from his own shot. Boy, that was fortuitous, to say the least. And just a little toe poke right back in makes it 4-1. Dahan to Rikers. Another set piece. They play it short. Oh, there's a nice run by Fadi Selleck. And he goes right at the keeper on the line. And let's see about making another sub here. It could really be anybody. Stamen is complacent. Vander Mullen. Emo Vander Mullen. 19 years old. Can't, well, his passing's okay. I wonder, wonder how many subs can we make? I don't look at the rules very much. Uh, I figure it out as we go. Ooh, a worm burner. Baru, there's Peters. Oh, he lays it in. And Makawi with his first goal of the season. Three-minute double. Puts us up 5-1 in the first match of the season. It was just a nice little outlet ball. And Peters just plays it into open space. Keeper probably should have done a better job with that. 
but we're not going to complain. All right, you know what? Real quick, just for funsies, want to see Body Selic. Okay, so it's only three subs. That's fine. It was a science experiment. We had to try. So let's see a 7 3 for Martinez, a 7 2 for Muhammad. McCowey, all three strikers got goals. Midfield played great. Everybody played well. Can't complain about anything in that match. Uh, we are going to go outstretched arms. Well done, guys. All right, now they're inspired, except Vandahar. He is complacent. 5 1 victory. Decent, decent result. <laughs> and we are top of the table with a plus four goal differential. We will take that here in the early going. And we'll be right back against uh, FC Dinbosch for the second match of this episode. All right, we have made our first move. We have brought in Dashaun Dira from Sparta on loan. No money because they're our senior affiliate. We get a C-plus grade, a reliable cover, and a young talent who will get first team Soccer while helping our cause. Could improve a lot. Important player. Taking a look at him. Well, let's welcome him in first. And we will do that. If we take a look, left back, which we need. He can also cover right back and left mid if we need. And he can cross the ball pretty well. Very decent physicals for this level, marking, passing, tackling. So he can play defensive in the positioning, but he can also cross. And I'd rather him not dribble too much, but you know he can do a job. So we brought him on. We do have another loan, and we've got two offers out as well. But we're waiting on those to come. Those will probably take place after the match or not so no we're going to sign gabriel needham on a transfer one hundred and thirty thousand dollars going to his current club so let's accept that and we'll take a look at him so he is currently with catswick uh here in the netherlands 34 starts a year ago no goals four assists a 692 average and another left back. He's right on the cusp physically. Wow, is that a 5.95 in the World Cup? Ouch. He must have got toasted. But he's playing a 7.3 in the league, so we're okay with that. Playing that left back attacking, we're not quite as worried. He can actually dribble a little bit, and hopefully that crossing turns out to be more towards the upper end. And we get a C grade on that pickup. Unsure about the signing, but keen to see what he can offer. Hoping he can make an impact at both ends of the pitch and turn out to be successful. Den Haan has been getting uh, quite a few offers. We've turned them all down. He is our vice captain. So, hmm, capable of playing with minimal risk. So he should be able to step in if we need him. So let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and move those guys in. I did notice one thing. You guys know if you've watched my series, let's go in and look at this. Edit pick guidelines. This has always been a percentage number, uh, and usually I go 90%, but now it is, and, and in the beta it was numbers. So this has been something new with the full release. So we're saying good, and we can see that he is uh, leaving that out. But let's take a look. So we've got Makawi, Muhammad up top, Stamen as well, Toll and Selick on the wings, Wreckers, all the same names. Deer is going to get a start today. Nijman and Kook in the middle, Dahan on the right, and Viral in the pipe. Players cannot feature for the first team. All right, maybe that's why we had three players. Maybe that's why we had three players because they played for the U23s. Must be it. All right, well, it's still all the same starters. We didn't replace anybody, so you're not helping me there, game. All right, Deera draws number 12. Needham takes number three from the jersey room. Our kit man gets them out 
outfitted and everything. Uh, let's see, we want to pump fist, no, nope. outstretched arms, carry on, motivated, nothing too fancy. We're going to ask, we're going to ask to demand more here in the early going. We're in the blue and white again. A nice block and a poor clearance. He was offsides. He did clear it over the net, but I do see the linesman flag up and we will get a set piece for the offsides there. All right, we get it out to the wing on with Toll. He cuts it inside. Oh, that was poor. Wreckers. He brings it up on the right flank. He looks for a cross. That was a poor clearance. A oh, nice little inlet pass. And McCowie banks it off the post. He was right on the shoulder of that defender. Let's see if they look at that. Don't believe we have VAR here. Does he get on sides? Ooh, it was close. We do get a replay. Oh, here's going to be the offsides. I think this guy kept him on. He did. He backed up just a step. And we are... Was it disallowed? No, that was the goal, right? Right, right? I, I hate not being able to see... <laughs> to see stats and stuff like I'm used to seeing. All right, we switch fields. Wreckers in the middle. Oh, nice. oh look at the 1-2 passing. And that was a nice save by the keeper. All right. McCowie got the goal. Yeah, we got the goal. Okay, we're up one nothing. Just making sure, man. Confused. Confused. Oh, man. It, it, it's just going to take a little while. There's so many changes on this screen that we're not used to looking at that, you know, when you used to, oh, my goodness, we have 12 shots to zero. We're going to encourage them. wonder if we should go attacking. We're pretty much dominating. I don't want to get out over my skis. All right, records. Body Selleck plays it back out. But I no, I was getting ready to say a minute ago, we did have, uh, I did hear somebody talking the other day, I believe it was Loki, uh, that talked about noticing in the match engine a lot of differences. Wow, look at that ball. On lower te lower level teams not being able to play the ball quite as well oh Koopmans oh very good save by our keeper and I am very happy with that it does set up a corner and the keeper makes another save that's the youngster man body Selleck he's into the attack He's got to hold it up. Now he's looking for a where, somewhere to play it. Let's check our tactic here. I'm pretty sure we had turned off. Yeah, work the ball into the box is not there. I'm going to take off the overlaps because I, I, this was something I saw in a Zealand video. And I don't mind giving credit to the big guys if that's where I pick it up at. But he pointed this out in, in a video last year on FM20. If you read it, the overlap make, you know, if you just look at it from a technical standpoint, you're thinking, okay, I want the fullback here and I want the, I want the, you know, the winger and I want the fullback to cross up and go on the attacking end, right? makes sense but if you read what it says it tells the player on the left flank to hold the ball up so let's say you've got a guy your winger gets the ball and he has an open way to the net if you haven't checked he could hold the ball up even though he has a free run to the goal 
So we do have shorter, shorter passing. And you know what? I'm going to drop that tempo a little bit. So let's change those two things. And we'll see how that works in the second half, I guess. Dira, there's his first highlight. Adi Selic heads it down to Mohammed and Aziz with his second goal of the season. A missed header by Snip, and we will take it. 2-0. That's a late goal heading into the half. And we'll count ourselves lucky to do that. 2-0 at the half. We are dominating the XG 2.79 to 0.48. And we will outstretch arms, pleased, fires everybody up. We are right back at it. <coughs> Nijman out to Toll. He lays it off to Wreckers. I'm guessing, you know, and that, that might be Rikers, you know. Oh, I thought Selick was trying to play it back into the striker back, back here around the six. Keeper did a good job to knock that out of play. And we will take the corner. And we're right back on the attack. Oh, Wreckers loses it. Van Louie. Or Van... That's got to be Louie, right? Two O's. Just a guess? Totally just a guess? All right, let's do a... Praise. See if that does anything. All right, we do have our first guy coming in with a yellow heart there. So we've got two defenders on yellow cards. I'm a little concerned about that, but let's take Wreckers off. If we look at him, Kesser is our best guy, possibly. No pace, but he does have first touch passing. I could. Yeah, he can't pass, though, so I don't want him. All right, so we're going to bring in Kesser. And don't know who the 22-year-old Turkish player might be his debut. Anybody else we want to bring off? I don't think so just yet. All right, a set piece goes all the way through the box. Snip runs it down. A punch out. And there's a shot that goes wide. Goalkeeper with a nice play there getting the punch out. Pretty happy. All right, and tell you what, we're going to do another sub. I meant to do it before the start there, but Body Selick is uh, into the yellow. So let's go ahead and bring him off for Van Eijma. And the header for the corner goes over the goal. Sorry for breaking up that highlight there. 3.05 on the XG. And let's go ahead and praise again. And do one more sub. Who are we taking off? We've got an uninterested player. We've got a complacent player. Can Banu play out there? Yeah, he's more of an attacking mid. But I don't mind playing him back a little bit. He can play there, but the attacking, that actually works in our favor because he can cross the ball pretty well. So hopefully that works out. All right, it is a highlight to them. Oh, what a save he laid out. If that could have gone by, I think Beck might have been able to make a run onto that ball. Fans are starting to cheer. They're getting restless. My wife finds that funny. There's a shot that goes wide of the mark. And let's... Let's demand more down the stretch. Final couple of minutes. Can we get a clean sheet? That would be nice. There's a nice deflection. Muhammad turns it around. Makawi into the box poor poor finish oh, it's coming right back in and right back out let's 
Still moving the ball. Oh, over the top. That's a nice ball. Oh, knocked away by, was that Dibison? Just a guess. I don't know. Oh, wow. That was going top bins, I think. Colnor knocks it over the bar. Great save for their keeper. And there's another good save right in the bread basket, but that had some pace on it. I think that was a foul. Oh, it was a foul against uh, against us. So, okay, or foul on us. So, our ball, good deal. I thought Nijman might get sent off right there. Baru into the box. Lays it back. Oh, that was poor. Oh, man. All right, 26 to 12 shots, 12 to 3 on target, 3.38 to 1.16. 20 corners, 85% passing, 60% possession. Couple of missed opportunities. We played relatively well. Some good saves there in the goal. Uh, we are going to let our assistant coach take care of that. They looked inspired and motivated, and we continue to sit top of the table after two matches along with Heracles Almelo at six points, two matches, and we're at a plus six goal differential. Gotta like that. We're going to praise Varal for his training. I'm going to put my arm around him. You've trained well, and we're going to criticize Vandahar, and I'm going to point finger and disappointed with your training you're our vice captain i believe so step your game up man anything else going on dira impresses on his debut on loan from sparta one assist eight key passes and 11 interceptions uh, i'm gonna say your defensive work was stellar that's a new stat i don't recall seeing interceptions before is that a stat that we're tracking here? Don't think so. I did notice they do have XG now uh, in the stat line. So that's interesting. If we go up to our squad, I would like to customize this current view. And I would like, yep, there's XG. We're going to add that. And then here... We are going to check that one, and we're going to move it up because I want it to be right behind the goals. We'll do that. So, strikers. Two goals, two matches, 1.89 XG. Two goals, two matches, a 1.22. And one goal with a 1.17, so I like that. And he's got one goal with a 0 0.22, so... That's interesting. You know, I know, it, I know it's not the be-all, end-all stat, but it does give you at least an indicator. So we are looking dangerous in the attack. We have got a clean sheet. Our young 16-year-old keeper is looking stellar with one shutout and playing a seven. So all things are looking good. So just a reminder, since these are our first matches, three uploads a week on this save instead of six you guys if you've been around my channel you're used to the daily uploads monday through saturday uh, we're going to try something a little different this year at least in the initial going see how it goes uh, and this is a recommendation from some of you guys uh, so we're going to go to three a week giving you guys more time to catch up and stay on on track with watching the episodes and I'm happy to do that. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this series. And I'm recording this on Wednesday. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, which I, you know, I don't understand is an American holiday. But I have two days off. We'll be watching some football, American and European football here over the next four days. But I will have time to do a lot of recording as well. So I am going to start up my other save. Uh, I will try to get up the introduction video to that. It's just a real quick 15-second uh, tease. And that'll be the intro video for the series. And it'll be a journeyman-style save with a twist. So be looking for that 
on my Twitter feed. Follow me over there if you have not done so uh, to keep track of that. And then once I start recording that, that will go up on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I will still have daily uploads, but it'll only be three episodes a week of each series. So you can choose which series you want to watch. Uh, maybe it's less episodes uh, for you to keep track of. Uh, you can watch one daily and then binge on the other one and not have as many videos to catch up. So, you know, just trying to see if that helps you guys. Again, it was one of, you know, one of you guys made the suggestion. And, hey, I'll give it a shot. I don't mind. So, uh, so two saves, and these saves should go the entire duration of FM21 rather than splitting it up at the six-month mark. So just a heads up, a couple of changes. And uh, if you got any other questions on that, go back a couple of episodes to episode zero to the save introduction, and I kind of talk a little bit more about it. But wanted you to kind of see uh, our friendlies, five goals a match. Uh, so we have been scoring at a good pace, and Sel Selick has been doing really well. So I think he's probably my my – early favorite player even though he's 29 uh and he's from turkey hopefully he's not from uh Galatsare. uh but anyway uh i do like him we need him to perform but boy he can't finish i'm not expecting goals from him all right because we're going to be doing i'm probably going to keep at the same pace so it'll take us longer to get through a season, or it will seem like it with the three uploads a week. But I'm going to get through, and uh, let's see. Let's maybe come back around Heracles and go ahead, and that'll get us through the transfer window as well. And we'll come back, meet some new players, maybe, and uh, see some more football and see how we're doing at that point. Hit the like button. Uh, I would... You know, I see these guys asking for 7,000 likes and 3,000 likes. I'm going, dude, I just want 20 views. But if you view it and you think the episode doesn't suck, hit the like button. Doesn't hurt you any. And more likes. If we can get 20 views with 20 likes, who knows? That may blow up the YouTube algorithm. We'll see. But, hey, and if you don't, you know, it's not going to hurt me, but help a brother out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.